outside due to fuel poverty. That's people that can't afford to heat their homes and as a consequence died from being cold. Um, that's mainly elderly and vulnerable people. Currently, over two million children live in fuel poverty in England and that's people being forced to choose between heating and eating. It's vulnerable and elderly people being forced to go out to public libraries, which of course are also now being cut. Elderly daycare centres, which are also being cut because they can't afford to heat their own homes. Now, too often fuel poverty is used as an argument against renewable energy, against sustainability. We're told that there's a contradiction. We can't, it's not possible for our homes to be heated in a way that's affordable and sustainable. We're told that we need things like fracking to lower our bills, which is obviously a fallacy, and, and Lord Brown, the former chair of Quadrilla, the fracking company, admitted that. So yeah, it's crucial that we want to keep bills down, and we're really happy that we've got a government that when it, when it comes to funding renewable energy, they're like, no, no, people are freezing in their homes, we want to keep the bills down. But there's actually a really obvious solution that the energy industry don't want, which is better insulation of our homes. A third of heat in UK homes escapes from uninsulated roofs and walls. Insulation is a very easy solution to climate change, to energy security and to fuel poverty. But the government, as with everything else, are going backwards on this. The, they've done lots of things, including scrapping home energy efficiency standards that should have come into force this year. But worst of all, it's the Cut to the Warm Front programme, which is completely cut um, and means that 80% of support for energy efficiency measures in the home have been have completely gone. So, we need well insulated homes, but the other thing that we're campaigning for is Switched on London, which is a publicly run energy system for London, because obviously the energy companies don't want us to have well insulated homes because they can't profit as much from that. So we're asking for a democratically run, sustainable energy system for London. Sadiq Khan said in his hustings that he would sign up to it, and we're going to be holding him to account on that. Nottingham and Bristol already have their own energy, si energy companies, and we need one for London as well. Thanks very much. Okay, let's hear it for Ali and Gilbert Fiaccio.